Hello friends and welcome to Breeding in Sims 4. Now I know what you're thinking, Abby what is the point of that? We all know by now Breeding in Sims 4 sucks because when you have two horses and they make a foal they pretty much only have two options and that's either the mother's coat and the father's mane and tail or the father's coat and the mother's mane and tail. Which is just terrible. That's, that's an awful mechanic. Why even have breeding in the first place? But in my video, Sims 4 vs Sims 3, which you can watch if you haven't already seen it, uh, it'll have popped up in a card or a B link below. I said that if you wanted realistic genetics and breeding, you should play Rival Stars. Now that gave me an idea. What if I bred two horses in The Sims 4, they had a foal, then I went into Rival Stars and bred the same two horses and take the foal that they created in uh, Rival Stars and recreate it in Sims 4. I don't know if that's too complex, you'll pick it up as we go. Um, but that will essentially give us like as close to realistic genetics as we can sort of get. Uh, and it should give us some kind of interesting coats and patterns. Uh, I'm thinking we do three breedings in total. So we'll do Jericho and Sporkle together. We'll do Kayla and Gizmo together. And then the two babies that we get will age up and breed them as well. So essentially right now I have two games running. I currently have Sims 4 running as well as Rival Stars. And on top of that, I also have my camera app and OBS recording. So I got a new PC, if you couldn't tell. This thing is absolutely incredible. Um, it's from Stormforce UK. I actually have an affiliate link with them. So if you'd like to check out my PC, it is a little bit on the, the pricey end, but it's 100% worth it. There's literally nothing this PC cannot do. Um, and you can also browse their other stuff as well because they do like laptops and lower end gaming PCs and accessories and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, so you do help me out by checking out my affiliate link in the description below. So um, welcome to Pinehaven Breeding. This is my facility. I gave it a bit of a spruce up because I realized that I didn't have a house for my sim. So she does cu currently have a tiny house. I really didn't want anything big. I'm not good at house building either. So um, I pretty much just shoved everything into this, this tiny little house here, but it's worked really well. There actually isn't a sink in the bar in the bathroom. She has to use the kitchen sink, which is a bit gross, but it works. The house is like, tiny it's so so small this is honestly a great lot if you want to do breeding for yourself you can use the same method that i'm using uh we've got four separate lots and this gorgeous fountain look at look at it it's it's so pretty this is my favorite feature of the whole thing uh so currently sporkle is in labor she is currently giving birth so it shouldn't be too long actually until she gives birth because it's been quite a while since she's been in labor which i will admit is um how it works in real life so i'll give that to the sims look at her belly she's got the big old oh, excuse me jericho okay uh she's got the big old pregnant belly i love that part in the sims so much they're so so cute you you slay on queen oh i hear baby music baby's coming Yay! Okay, so we got a filly. That's exciting. So we have a filly. If it isn't a filly in Rival Stars, that doesn't matter. We're kind of just doing it for um, the coats and whatnot. So I will now switch to Rival Stars. Right, so here we are in Rival Stars. If you have been on this channel before, you're very familiar with this game. I do tons of videos on it. If you're not for whatever reason, go and play it. It's an amazing game. It has both a mobile version and desktop. Desktop does cost money, whereas the mobile is free. But in my opinion, the desktop is better. So uh, we currently have Sporkle and Kayla all kind of ready for foaling. They have been bred with their respective partners. So we have Jericho and Gizmo already here. So if we go to the foal stalls, we can see um, Kayla hasn't given birth yet. So I'll have to skip Sporkle and see what we get. I really hope it's a super cute uh, coat because I want to be creative today. Let's see. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that is gonna be a nightmare to me. <laughs> oh no, I take it back. I don't want an interesting coat anymore. So this one is a cold, but ours is of course um, a filly, but that's fine. Prize is a nice name. I'm gonna call this horse Prize. I'm gonna have to take pictures of both sides of this horse because otherwise I will not know what I'm doing. So let me just go ahead and set up a snapshot. So we'll go. So we'll be going with the same name as uh, Rival Stars. So we're gonna put in the name Prize. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, so this is literally just Sporkle's coat with Jericho's mane. And that sucks. Oh, but they're so cute. Wait, before you bond, I'm gonna change how you look. Hang on. Modify it in Creator Sim. So One genie Mikosa. I... Yeah, that was a bit rude. <laughs> anyway. Go to color color and pattern. Um 
Is there any like close basis we can work off of? I'm like, I'm like, oh no, I've gotten into trouble now because how on earth am I gonna do this? I don't think any of these are particularly, I'm gonna have to do a lot by scratch. I think that's an okay basis. Or do I just do it by, I think I should just do it by hand actually. So the base color of this horse is kind of dark chestnutty. Um, it's definitely not red enough. Maybe, okay, I'll go with this because it's kind of close. <laughs> That's so dark. I feel like I'm gonna make such a mess of this horse. We'll start with the legs. So I am leaving it mirrored, but I know for a fact that um, the Rival Stars horse has lighter legs. Do I think I'm gonna do a good job? Uh, no, I do not. But we're just gonna give it a go anyway. I'm like, I don't know how much effort I should put into like, I guess I should do it like proper properly, shouldn't I? Abby tries her hand, hand at art. So I, I've kind of gone with lightening the legs because that's sort of what they have in Rival Stars. And I do feel like I need to darken the top to more of like a reddish color but I am so scared of doing that. I am getting more of a red tone here, which is great. You know, I was not not hoping, but like I was kind of just wanting like a paint so I could just like slap on a paint, but this is cool too, I guess. Yeah, okay. Ooh, here we go, here we go. It's subtle, but it's here. That it is for sure. Oh, wow, okay. Hmm. He's <laughs> starting to look like a, a bit like Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> I feel like it'll come together. You know, you just have to believe in the process. Yeah, I don't know why I'm flipping this horse. The, the coat is mirrored. Okay, so I'm gonna go for like a slightly warmer tone. I don't know, I'm winging it. <laughs> I am so winging it. We're gonna do that right and then we're gonna punch a hole in it. How does that sound? You know, I'm kind of glad I'm not streaming this. I feel like you guys would be yelling at me. Oh my god, it's removing the red underneath this, so now it looks all like... <laughs> okay, well, I can, like, blend out the edge. What am I doing? I, I'm not artisting properly. Okay, okay, we're gonna take we're gonna take another crack at it, okay? I honestly just don't know another way to do this, you know? Like, oh, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Okay, maybe, like, fluff out the edges a bit. Okay, we'll do that. I mean, it could be, it genuinely could be worse. So, like, I, I, I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. So, I'm, oh my god, I still have to do the bum and the legs. And the, we're gonna just do, we, we're gonna do the same vibe of, like just filling it in and then punching holes in it. All right, we'll try this again. Let's go smaller. Okay. Oh, this is maybe too small. So the tactic sort of is just do shapes until it looks about right. This is a really intricate pattern. I feel like I just, I got so unlucky with this being the first one. There's so many holes in this. I hate this so much. I have I have so many regrets, genuinely. Why is everything spotted? I It's I'm just going to have to live with it, I think. I am by no means an artist, so um, this was kind of my best attempt. Yeah, it's. I think it's just one of those things where like, I could sit here for hours trying to get this coat, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna have to accept that. I mean, it was a very complex coat, so I'm not gonna be too hard on myself. I'm just gonna accept that as is. I gotta change the hooves though, because the hooves on that horse are very dark. Let's go ahead and just go, yeah, I mean, that's, that's close enough. Okay, I'm gonna go for a dark, darker tail yeah does that work i don't think that works maybe like this yeah i mean it's okay. it's okay it's not great um okay so this is counted as a mixed breed obviously in rival stars they're all thoroughbreds but i think i'm just gonna accept that as is again i could have spent like ages tweaking it and making adjustments and like actually trying really hard but that would have taken me like ages so let's go ahead and see our new baby I mean, in the game, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, like I can't be mad. I genuinely can't be mad at that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up time. You guys are much better than I am at making coats, especially like custom coats. There was a couple people who did custom sporkles. Um, I'll have their names up now because I can't remember all of them and I don't want to miss anybody. But uh, their sporkles were just amazing, like incredible. For some reason though, I can't implement them in my game properly. Like it doesn't, 
maybe I'm doing something wrong in the household, but uh, it won't let me like play with them. But uh, it was really impressive seeing them on the gallery. I was like, oh my goodness, that's Sporkle. Uh, somebody made Jericho as well. They just looked amazing. And somebody made a custom Abigail Pinehaven, but I couldn't use it because it used a pack that I like didn't have and it made me sad. Uh, but I appreciated it nevertheless. If you guys ever um, make a custom horse of mine or my character, just let me know. I'll go ahead and like it on the gallery and, and check it out and I'll add it to my library as well yay so we got a boy oh my goodness okay so we got a boy that's per oh my god that's actually per i just realized that that's perfect because we got a, a a filly and a cold i'm gonna switch to rival stars show we can go to the fall store we're gonna go ahead and skip kayla so let's go ahead and see what she brings us please nothing too complex i'm begging you oh interesting I kind of love this. Okay, so she is a snowcap Appaloosa. Sorry, he. He is a snowcap Appaloosa, the same as uh, his mom, which is really cute. I love that. Let's go ahead and name them. Oh, wait. Truffle is a great name. Truffle. Oh, Truffle. Yes, Truffle is an amazing name. I think that, that fits them perfectly. I mean, other than the sock, it's going to be pretty much the same on both sides, which is great. Um... Oh, they do have little little heels as well. And she does have like... Oh, he, sorry. I keep uh, saying the wrong thing for this fall. Has the cutest stripe. Ah, where's the, where's the stall door? Okay, that, that was a side tangent, but the stall door is missing. Maybe they removed... Oh, we can see them too as well. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm just discovering new things in Rival Stars. Let's go ahead and switch back to Sims 4. Right, so welcome to the world, Truffle. That's such a cute name. This is a decent base to start off with. Uh, the legs need to be lightened quite a lot. So let's go ahead and modify in Kaz. The biggest difference is the foal does have light legs, whereas this one has dark legs. So I wonder if I can fix that from... Ooh, I can. I can! Okay, perfect. So it isn't like blindingly bright, but I don't know if I'm going to get a match... That's, that's pretty close. To be fair, the base should probably be a little bit lighter as well. That's pretty close. That is pretty close. Now, I wonder, is that is that me? Did I do that? It's just looking very orange in the face. It's looking a bit Cheeto. Erase this. Is that... I can! Aha! Okay, so that must have been a thing I did. Custom. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I got very lucky. I can probably get away with using the snow cap. Yeah, so the, this section here is just super, super light. It does kind of make that transition a bit weird, though. That's the only thing. They have a really dark muzzle. Let's get it nice and close. Do the... Oh. Oh, I guess the opacity... Actually, this works well for me. No, it doesn't. I need a much higher opacity. So this is more of a smoky black, whereas that the one on the full is kind of a true black. So I want to keep that shape. It sort of, like, goes in, like, an N, sort of. I'm, like, scared to use a super dark black. Maybe you can just do this just like a little bit yeah then we got a pink bit on the muzzle as well so i want to try and get that so it's sort of oh stop that's so cute that does not look right though like is that too symmetrical is that why it's looking weird maybe do this so that it looks sort of more natural i don't know if that's working though okay that is so cute that is oh my god that's so adorable okay <laughs> right so um, I'm thinking we have to erase the star because uh, we're going to need like a clean workspace. Okay, that is a very strange problem. It gets really pixely when you start using like really small brushes. We do the tiny little, tiny little snip here. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my God, stop. They're so cute. Ah. Okay, uh, so the other thing we need to do is the sock. Now they do have actually, can I do this? I think this might make it easier. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, wait, now they're flipped, aren't they? Yeah, so it's this hoof I need to be looking at. Make sure mirror is off. Uh, and we just, just gonna get right in there and make sure we get the other side get up to about here the good thing about this is that they don't have like too many holes and stuff that i have to like fuff around with like we did last time so that's nice yeah i'm happy with that so while we're here the horse does on this side have like tiny tiny little 
like I think I don't know pastern I want to say that's called uh, they do have a tiny little bit of a pastern on this leg let me just make sure it's sort of even yeah and then on this one they have like a tiny little like heel clip almost I don't actually know what that's called but we do have a little heel heel clip one thing i will change is the hair color because this fold does have dark hair all around here we go oh gosh okay truffle aged up oh truffle looks lovely grown up oh he looks gorgeous that's not too bad yeah, that's so weird. So the sim has to have a good relationship with the horse, not the horses to each other. Because I remember that was a thing. I'm going to keep bringing up Sims 3. Uh, you should still watch that video if you haven't seen it already. Sims 3 versus Sims 4. Um, but essentially, like, the horses had relationships between them. And obviously, if those weren't high enough, you couldn't breed them. Whereas now, it's just the relationship between your sim and the horse. So that kind of sucks. But it makes it easier for me because I don't have to work these two's relationship. They can just sort of do their own thing. <laughs> yes, okay. That was the most riveting, like, seven minutes of my life. Uh, but finally, Prize is in labor. So she will be our last foal, or they will be our last foal of the uh, the video. And let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see, if you'd like to see me do this again, if I should do this with other horses, um, what you guys just generally think of this. Because uh, it's a bit difficult, definitely, with the more, like, advanced coats. But, like, for the simple ones, I think I did pretty well. Right, so she just gave birth. Prize just gave birth to a foal. What would you like to call her? So we have got another filly. Let's go ahead and switch to Rival Stars. Okay, so, uh, one thing we we have to do before we can see there's a fly flying around in here and it's like putting me off okay so we do have to skip all of the babies up to uh full grown uh as you can see truffle darkened a lot and she, he doesn't have the baby legs anymore which is like the lighter sort of uh legs whereas they they have quite a dark dark legs now uh so we can also age up prize prize will look pr it, actually if i'm gonna guess prize is gonna end up a chestnut i was wrong that is just a straight bay that is a straight bay okay yeah and the like pattern got obviously a lot bigger which i don't really think mine did anyway that's fine let's set truffle as a stud and then we'll go back to the full stalls breed horse so we select truffle and Oh no, no, Prize is a stallion. How did I not know this? Oh, that's so sad. Okay, so um, in an attempt to fix this, I can't really. So it's not gonna be like super accurate, but I'm gonna take sheep out. Don't yell at me, please. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize that the horse in Rival Stars was um, a male, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and breed sheep and I mean it's kind of close I guess. I guess. So I mean it's an interesting coat for sure although you can really see sheep in that one. <laughs> Technically I did just like just full-on cheat. I didn't even like follow anything. Um, let's call them Flash. I know that in Sims 4 they are a filly so uh, we'll take quickly take a picture of Flash so that we can get a decent representation of them wonderful and we'll move back to sims 4 flash and there we have it little flash i mean i do feel kind of bad for cheating if they come out with the wrong gender in rival stars there's nothing i can do i can't change the gender anyway uh we do have a really cute fold to create mm, yeah i'm not gonna go any lighter than that i don't think i'm gonna go with this and actually maybe i can find a pattern Maybe I could use something like this and then get rid of, oh, I could do that. I could totally do that. And then use a brush to essentially just get rid of like the back bit. Oh, this has made my life so much easier because it is, I think it's called like a jacket pinto. I think that's the term that they used. So we'll make sure it keeps as a jacket. And we do turn off mirroring to just get rid of this sock. Yeah, okay nice okay so we need to make it a little itty bitty stripe okay maybe, maybe not that itty bitty 
I mean, even the muzzle is pretty accurate. Now, obviously that last one isn't super realistic because the mother wasn't the same. Slight flaw in my plan. Uh, but honestly, I'm not too mad. It's made for some interesting coats and that's pretty much what I wanted with this challenge. Uh, cause I was just sick of <laughs> getting the same coats over and over again. Whereas now they actually have an interesting pattern to them. And, uh, I think both of them were re like, they came out really nice. Uh, okay, some, some were better than others uh and some of them were not at all accurate but uh that's fine i still think that this worked really well rival stars is a great game definitely um get into it if you like horses uh it's for desktop and mobile and of course if you are looking for new pcs uh new gear equipment all that sort of stuff uh check out this pc please use my affiliate link because it does help me out so i hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.